Yes, you can have it all. You can have good salary, good team, a good company with the technology that you really enjoy and like. It is achievable and it is possible. So let's break it down. So I remember in 2016, um, I was looking for my first job as a QA engineer and I was working on some projects. Uh, I was building my portfolio. I was building my uh, knowledge base and um, I was really looking for a job, just a job. I didn't really know what is out there. I was not new to corporate America though. I work uh, corporate jobs with uh, different like healthcare systems, with different behavioral health uh, organizations before getting into tech. I was a clinical psychology uh, psychologist, so this is something that I was doing. So, but tech was absolutely new to me. And um, I was looking for a job. And um, with the right approach, right, I was able to land. Uh, I was able to land my first job. So, Ian, my first job was not my dream job. And here's the thing. This is why it was not my dream job. Because I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what dream job means. I knew that I wanted to make more money. I knew that I wanted to work on a team. I knew that I wanted to do quality assurance, preferably with the exposure to software, right? Because like uh, when it comes to quality assurance and quality assurance tester, they're different. Like they're like there are hardware testers that they let's say um, Tesla for like a better example. Uh, there are testers that like will test hardware. Uh, there are testers that will test like uh, actual watch. There are testers that will test hardware and actually one of my first interviews were was with the one one of my first interview was with a company that was focusing on the medical hardware so it was related to my past experience and it's medical hardware like i i understand exactly what they were dealing with didn't get a job and for the better but uh I landed my job and um i didn't really like it I did really like it. Um, the company culture was not there. Uh, there were a lot of changes happening. The pay was... Uh, uh. And then my second company came along. And my second company was... Better. In terms of the culture, in terms of the team, in terms of like how they operate, they were better. They were better. And then from now, like from that point forward, each company that I worked at was slightly better, was slightly better, was slightly better than before. So, uh, and um, why I'm telling you that? Why I'm telling you that? Because first of all, uh, why people don't kind of have it all? Because they don't know all what they want right like they don't want to like they like a lot of a lot of people that i talk to on my mini coaching sessions and clear career clarity call they don't know what they want they don't know what they want like uh, i just want to work for like uh people would say something like that like i just want to work for or like on a team or like um well, I think the more firm example that I've heard so far, one person said, like, I just want to work for Amazon, period. Not this is where I want to work, period. And this is something that I call um, employer crash, right? That's something that we should avoid because Amazon can be gone tomorrow. Like, I doubt they would, but any employer can be gone tomorrow. Or in, like, your job, your favorite corporate crash can be gone tomorrow with layoffs and it happened and it happened to me too because i love where i work so but what is important like when you see it when you see it you can achieve it because 
listen, let, let me just be honest, right? Let me just be honest. Uh, you might get in tech for the money. You want to provide for your family. You want to provide for yourself. Uh, you are tired of struggling. That was me. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with um, having the life that you want, having like, supporting your family, taking care of your loved ones. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But uh, just like, oh, I, I just want to make a bunch of money, right? It's not enough to achieve that goal that you are striving for. This is not enough. It's important to have like more clear picture. And this is why I say sometimes it takes several takes. And as you're progressing in tech, uh, you like you kind of have a clear vision. When you grow though, like when you grow though, like let's say you are more mid-level senior um, developer, do some analysis. Like you have some experience. You know where you work better. You know where you thrive. You know where you um where like where you happy, right? And if you have not had opportunities where you were happy. Then I think uh, I think you need to do the whole career evaluation, like your job strategy evaluation. Is it the right technology? Is it the right approach? Um, how you how you interact? How you work all together? Because there's nothing worse than um, go to a place that you hate or do what you hate, do what you don't like. And keep go and just like keep going, right? At some point, you will burn out. Or uh, if you are experiencing burnout, it's really understand why. Maybe you suffer from so many toxic uh, places or the places that don't see you, don't appreciate you, don't understand you, you don't fit in, and, and they don't pay you well, they don't pay what you deserve. Uh, and here's the thing, it's important to understand, it's important to understand your goals, what you're, like, what, what you're uh, thriving for. And when you, here's the thing, like, can I, can I go absolutely woo on you? Absolutely woo on you, right? Something that, like, um, our mindset and our goal settings and our vision, this is something that we don't focus enough in tech. We, we're so hone in on technical skills. Oh, I need to solve 100 legal questions because uh, that's the only way to pass my Amazon interview. Oh, I need to, well, I need to create, like, uh, 50 take-home projects and practice how to do take-home projects. And it's important. Your hard skill is important, but your hard skill, your uh, programming language, your technical skill is not the only thing that will get you there. You're like, because we are, we are human beings and we are complex beings. We like, we, uh, uh, it's important to have uh, our spiritual balance, our uh, corporate balance or work balance and our um relationship balance we like it's important to have balance in in all of those areas or if you were disbalanced somewhere like i can attest if i'm disbalanced either in my personal life or in my spiritual life let's say i don't have a church home or like i don't i i don't i don't have a, a spiritual place of worship where i can feel welcome and safe then like everything else kind of like starts to going sideways in a way or i feel it in in other areas of my life uh, or if i'm not happy with my work it will affect other areas of my life right like, let's just stop pretending that knowing a coded programming language is the only thing that matters knowing technical skills is the only thing that matters it's it is not because we're complex human beings so it's important to do analysis what you like. It's important to uh, see like what is missing. Maybe maybe it's not even just your work environment. Maybe it is something deeper, right? Maybe it's something in your personal life. So, but when you see it, when you have a vision, when you can imagine, imagine that you can, imagine that it's achievable, imagine that you're already there, imagine, have that clear vision in front of you. And what do you see? Because when you see it, you can achieve it. When you can see it, uh, 
you can move forward, when you can see it, you know what you need to do. You know how many steps you need to take. You may not be there yet, but you are not where you used to be because you know where to go to. You know what your goal is. Because when you say, like, I just like, I just want a job. Well, here it is. You can have a job, but are you gonna be happy? And like maybe you got a job that takes you closer to your goal, but you're not quite happy with the team. Keep moving forward. Like gain experience, make your money, and move forward. And this is another thing that you can communicate with your recruiters that, hey, I need a team that has really good culture. I need a, collabor a collaborative team or like, I really would like to work independently. I really enjoy when I work just kind of by myself and I communicate my achievement to a particular person or like, you know what? I really like leading teams. I really like growing teams, then you kind of discover your zone of genius. But it is possible to have it all as long as you have that vision, what that all is and what that all means for you, specifically for you, because a good environment, success, and uh, the definition of success in a good environment can be different and will be different for different people. For me, a definition of good work environment and definition of success is where I work with a team where I feel supported, understood, and appreciated. And I, I'm, I'm making good money. Money, people, collaborative environment, and people where I can grow and influence other people and serve other people and help people to get to their goals. This is one of the reasons why I start doing my own business because this is where I thrive. I thrive when I grow people. I thrive when I inspire people. I thrive when I mentor people, coach people, and see them go and get in that. At my previous company, one of my mentees got a pay raise, right? As we were working together. Like that, like that felt amazing. One of my clients. One of my clients got a job that feels amazing. And also, I like to build the um, up-to-date technology, like latest and greatest technology. Well, not necessarily latest and latest, latest and greatest, greatest, but the, like uh, the technology that are moving forward. And at my, uh, at my previous job, right, I was working with SwiftUI. And combine, and it was, and, and I, and I could mentor, and I can grow people, and it was so amazing. What is your vision? What do you want? What do you really want? What do you really want from job? Because just a job, just two hundred k per year, uh, just a, just a number and a title, and this is not really what you want. So what do you want? Because it is possible for you to have it all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.